for Dave McPherson, who's leading hearts into a semi-final clash with Airdrie and facing the disappointment which defeat produced. Today, he's in Rangers colours, hoping to inflict similar disappointment on his old teammates and proceed to his second Scottish Cup final after being on the losing side for Rangers against Aberdeen ten years ago. And these are the men who'll help him. Only Peter Haustra is missing from the team which beat Aberdeen in the league in midweek. He's unfit. So too is substitute Alexei Mikarichenko. So young David Hagen comes into the wide midfield position with Neil Murray and Ian Durant on the bench. And with the departure of McPherson from Tynecastle, Alan McLaren assumed additional responsibility at the back beside Craig Levine. Just turned 22, he's already established himself in the Scotland team with fine performances against Roberto Baggio of Italy and Jürgen Klinsmann of Germany. So he'll relish the toughest of domestic tasks this afternoon against Ali McCoist and Mark Haitley. He leads a full-strength Hearts team. There was a doubt about the former Rangers midfield player Derek Ferguson, but he's in his usual place. And Tosh McKinley has preferred to Glyn Snowden in the wide left midfield position, wearing number three. The referee is last year's cup final referee, Douglas Holt from Erskine. So precisely the atmosphere you would anticipate for a tenant Scottish Cup semi-final. Crowd of around 50,000 inside the stadium. Uh, just under 20,000 of these coming from the capital, Edinburgh, supporting Hearts. And three of these Hearts players were in the last Cup final team. Gary Mackay, John Robertson and Craig Levine. They lost by three goals to nil against Aberdeen in 1986. So they're determined to enjoy some success in this year's competition. It's Hart's last chance of glory in the domestic season. The Rangers, though, with yet another key match. An incredible run of tough, competitive matches. They have Marseille to face in France on Wednesday night in the European Cup. Preston. Robertson, good play there from Hearts. David Robertson did well with the clearance. Here's Hagen. The introduction of Hagen for Hauster means that Rangers can maintain the same kind of shape in the side. Had they brought in the Indurant, it would have resulted in some kind of change to the pattern of play. And Preston doing some wandering now. Ferguson again taking up some good positions in midfield. To test Andy Gordon from long range. Not a prolific goal scorer by any means, but there's only two so far this season. But this was a thoroughly worthwhile effort. He was given some space just outside the penalty area, but couldn't get that on target. Stephen playing it long for Hagen. Is he quick enough? Putting pressure on Mackay. Very strong young man, Hagen. Powerfully built. I'm a call. His direct opponent is John Miller. The two Fergusons in direct competition, Ian and Derek, in the middle of the field also. And John Brown. A call. Stephen. There's McCoist. And the best opening of the match so far falls to Ali McCoist. Well, he can't be criticised for this visit. It was very good play. Stephen's pass controlled instantly with the right foot. The shot with the left. Walker appeared to be stranded. But it was John Brown's intrusion which made all the difference. Good play also. Strong play there by McCall. Forcing it across there to Trevor Stephen. It is wits about him there to find McCoy's in space. And that was very close indeed. Here's Derek Ferguson. And McKinley. John Brown's interception. Space here for David Robertson. Well, it's good play by Mickey Walker. The ball was being held up there. It wasn't going to reach him to allow him to catch it. McCall guilty of a foul there on Miller. Well, Mickey Walker judged the flight of that ball extremely well to come out of his area and head clear. Mark of confidence in the international goalkeeper. And McLaren's free kick. Golf getting above Beard. Derek Ferguson short. Took a deflection. It's a corner kick to Hearts. And as the ball came back there, the header came out from 
Richard Goff and Derek Ferguson is up the shot took the pace out of it that deflection and still Hearts persist with in swingers here's Tosh McKinley that's away from the keeper though back with McLaren a chance without question for Hearts well the McLaren will be very disappointed if not out when he realizes just how much time and space he had here came from this corner kick from Tosh McKinley it was pushed much further out Andy Gorham couldn't come for this Bears header came off Robertson and McLaren snatched it over the top head flick on from Stephen this is Derek Ferguson Bears tackled well by Goff McPherson driving forward now from the right back position Stephen was outside him. Faced here by Levine. Ferguson's first time ball into the area. There's McCoist. And a second chance perhaps. And Nicky Walker to the rescue of Hearts with a couple of excellent saves. Well, suddenly the last defence was exposed and McCoist almost made them suffer. Across here by Stephen, there's the first time ball by Ferguson was deceived the Hearts defence. There was McCoy, it was a great save from Walker, but he acted superbly again with that second block. Severe pressure though. Well, Hearts have survived that little onslaught. They're battling there with Richard Goff, using his arms illegally though, it's a free kick to Rangers. A lot of food for thought there for Walter Smith and Archie Knox, the Rangers management team up there. Not having things all their own way at this stage. Stephen on the right, but McKinley was there. This is Levine. And now Derek Ferguson. Space here for Preston. Needs support in the middle. Ian Baird trying to provide it. Well, the delivery from Alan Preston. Disappointing. And after that good build-up on the left, the Preston has taken some abuse from the Hearts dugout, I can tell you. Frank Connor, the assistant manager in particular, was giving him a little verbal volley. Well, poor kick out from Andy Gorham, but at the end, it's Hearts, who I think will be more encouraged by that first half performance than Rangers. The best chance of the first half fell to Ali McCoy after this excellent move. Trevor Stephen to Ian Ferguson in this first time ball found McCoy in space. The shot taken instantly, good reflexes there from Nicky Walker and a very good reaction again to nudge the ball away from McCoy on the rebound. And that is a save which I reckon has kept the score sheet blank and kept Hearts right in the semi-final with a real chance. These Hearts supporters certainly believe so. In half-time it's Rangers nil, Hearts nil. So a place in the final still very much up for grabs here. First goal is going to have a vital bearing, I think, in the outcome because while Hearts remain on level terms, they will still be looking for the opportunity to snatch the goal, which could take them through. Rangers not quite firing in all cylinders in that first half. Things not going completely smoothly for them, and that was a lot of credit to Hearts. Handball there by Derek Ferguson, but the Hearts players were certainly up for the task and were closing Rangers players down very quickly indeed with their man-marking duties. Lots of front players put pressure on the Rangers defenders whenever they have possession. Robertson, Preston and Baird not allowing any peace to the Rangers back four.
Robertson to Levine. Miller forcing it forward again, that's Preston. The one he's on for the moment, Ian Ferguson getting back. And Preston complaining bitterly to the referee, who's being fouled by Ian Ferguson. He can't believe he didn't get a free kick for that. of goal for Ali McCoyst. Nicky Walker having a word there, I think, with Alan McLaren for the way in which this reached McCoyst. It came off McLaren's head. A lot of space here for McCoyst. He took aim carefully. And good handling by Walker. Led by Goff. This is Ian Ferguson. And now Brown. Derek Ferguson collects the header from Van de Ven. This is Levine. And Mackay. Flatten. Mackay again. Robertson has space on the right. Waiting for Beard to make his way into the area. There's Preston! on. This is John Robertson, Derek Ferguson's in space. John Brown was in the way. Here's McKinley. And Preston again. Hearts with the tails up. And a very important touch on by Robertson. There's Mackay, tackled extremely well by McCall. Mackay has it back. John Miller with time to set up the shot. Came off Brown. With Robertson with Gordon. Judgment was excellent. The Hearts are looking for a second goal. With a great credit, not content to sit back in the lead. There's Derek Ferguson. Oh, a reasonable shooting chance that for Hearts. Difficult one to control on the bounce. It would be spinning too because it was deflected off the boot of Stuart McCall. But nevertheless, Ferguson trying very hard to keep it down. From Preston off the boot of McCall. Ferguson setting himself. There's McCoy on the turn. Oh, excellent striking play that by McCoy. The ball was deflected. Gone for the corner. Hartsburg this time complaining to referee Hope. Set up by Aitley's header, and there was McCoy on the turn. Well, it didn't appear to be much of a deflection on that. He saw one, though.
deficit. Joe Jordan realises the match has to be won all over again. All the noise now coming from these Rangers supporters who are undoubtedly extremely worried after that opening goal from Hart. What a relief for Walter Smith, although you wouldn't know it from the expression in his face. Ferguson. Well, emotions are running high in this match. Both sides totally determined to go through the final. It's making now for absorbing entertainment. John Brown Shrieker. Goff tried to make a run there, but he was matched by Van de Ven. which Tosh McKinley set up, flighting this across the face of the goal. Goran was beaten by that, it came off the crossbar, in fact. Well, there's the irony. The scoreboard showing that Celtic are leading by two goals to one as the home side, whereas in the semi-final, for well, Celtic Reed Rangers. Now the Rangers supporters building up for the celebration of another final to come when this final whistle goes. Something bordering on the miraculous now. And defense header, there's Snowden. Final whistle goes. Rangers are in the final. It was an incredible second half. Set up by the goal from Alan Preston for Hearts in 58 minutes when he pulled it home. The header from the John Roberts in cross. Rangers looked to be in trouble, but Dave McPherson came to the rescue. A header and goal. It was blocked on his three shot but Rangers back in level terms and then the inevitable figure of Ali McCoy is popped up 14 minutes from the end racing onto a through ball getting ahead of Nicky Walker to lob Rangers through to the second 10 Scottish Cup final in succession it's Rangers 2 Hearts 1 Dave you were a losing semi-finalist last year with Hearts what does it mean to you to be in the final this time? Oh, it's a tremendous feeling. Uh, the Scottish Cup has not been a particularly good trophy for myself. I've never really done well in it before. I've lost in one cup final and lost in numerous semi-finals. So it was a big game for myself and I'm delighted to get through it and into the final. Some sympathy, I would imagine, for your old Hearts teammates, though they did make a game of it. Yeah, the first half, I thought they played particularly well and uh, they deserved to score the first goal. But uh, all credit to ourselves, we came back very strong. We've done that throughout this season. 
Now, it's not often we see you scoring with your feet. What is that in terms of number of goals? My first goal uh, with my foot, and I've also scored two with my head. It's the third in total. And then we saw Mr McCoy score the winner. How much self-belief is there in the side, Dave, for you to come back like that? There's a lot. We've done it so many times this season, uh, particularly in big games, and that, that's what helps us get through games now. You know, when we go behind, it seems to spur a team on to greater things, greater effort. Is Aberdeen the preferred option from your point of view for the final? I don't really uh, care who we meet in the final. You know, uh, the way we play it in the moment, the way we just commit ourselves to each game, each and every game, it doesn't really matter who we play. You've had tremendous battles with Aberdeen throughout this season, though. Do you think we can expect something similar in the final? Yeah, I'm sure the cup final by a tremendous game, and I'm sure Aberdeen will look to get one over ourselves. Finally, Dave, how important was it for the club to win today in order to carry that forward to the Marseille game in midweek? I think it was very important. I don't think it would have made a great deal of difference if we'd have lost the game today, but having won it gives you that extra confidence to get into the Marseille game on Wednesday. It's two out of three in three huge games this week. Can you make it a third? I think the players believe that we can do it. Uh, certainly will be a big test for us in, in Marseille, but if we show the team spirit we showed today, then I'm sure we can do it.